Hola a todos. So today, conjugations and the six box chart. How do we read, how do we comprehend, how do we digest the six box chart? So let's take a look at that. And again, it could be subject pronouns or object pronouns or reflect like grammar. It should be grammar and the six box chart. So the six box chart is simply designed to help provide a structural framework in which languages can be diagrammed. This is not for Spanish. This is not for English or Romanian or French or German. It's for language. This chart and this graph, this, this, it's universal. So if you're trying to diagram Swahili or you're trying to diagram Russian, we can still use first person, second person, third person, singular and plural. Just like in your English classes as you're learning about, you know, narration and the perspective or the point of view, those things, that point of view, it, it coincides, it, it works with the grammar chart, okay? So, read the six box chart. This is crucial. A lot of, a lot of times, if, I don't know. Read the, the six box chart as two columns in a downward fashion or as one singular column. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, nosotras, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Do not read across. Don't do that. Read down. Okay, sometimes you'll, you'll be presented with a chart like this. Sometimes you'll be a, just a singular column. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, nosotras. Vosotros, remember, we're not going to deal with vosotros in this class. Ellos, ellas, ustedes. All right. Bailar. So this is just instead of dealing with like a subject pronouns, let's, let's look at verbs, which is simple verb conjugations in the present tense. Bailar. Yo bailo. Bailas. Baila. Bailamos. Bailan. Always is going down. All right. Como. Comes. Come. Comemos. Comen. Or abro. Abre. Abres. Tu abres. El abre. Abrimos. Abren. Okay. Always read downward fashion. And again, English or Spanish doesn't matter. And I want to show you, these two charts match up. You can, like, it's a, look at these two hands, right? You can stack them and they, they look like one hand. But it's, it's two hands. So, bailo means I dance. Bailas, you dance. Baila, he dances or she dances. So here in the third person, we should have the subject pronoun. El baile, or el baila, he dances, or ella baila, she dances. Same thing. These, they match, they line up, so you can stack them. That's why they're always presented together in pairs, so that way you can see the translation. So, Or if you're going straight single columns, here's what it would look like, right? You're always going to have in this order, the conjugations, yo, tu, el, ella, usted, Nosotros, nosotras, uh, nosotros, nosotras, or vosotros, in this class we're not dealing with vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Okay. Why? Why is it important? Check this out. The six box chart helps language learners to learn grammar concepts, diagram those concepts, and then better understand how those concepts interact. This is the key. Interact with previously learned material. So let's look at you. This is, you know, and, and this is bef later to come. Reflexive verb conjugations. Here's three different conjugation charts or verb charts, six box charts, but they all work together. It's like the hand, they stack. Yo me lavo. Yo me lavo, I wash myself. Tu te lavas. You wash yourself. He washes himself. Right? So it's a, we wash ourselves. You can't just mix and match on the chart. So if you, if you learn how the chart functions and you learn and you remember where things are located on the chart, then it's just like plugging and playing with the puzzle. And I want this piece and this piece and this piece because they all match. Okay? I wouldn't say I himself washes. I himself washes? Nah, that's... I washes himself? No. I wash myself. You wash yourself. He washes himself. We, 
wash ourselves, right? We wash ourselves. You did. They match and they work together. They interact together. So if you know and you learn that the conjugation chart, the six box chart, lots of different variables and concepts within language can be diagrammed onto it. And then those diagrams can play together and they work together. It's, it's a giant puzzle. It's awesome. So hopefully this helps give better understanding or better like usefulness to the six box chart. Um, have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever time it is. And, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for, for, for checking it out.